Hello everyone, Matt, Matt here, and I've got a cool car trick to show you. Now I've got my bicycle deck of cards here. Just gonna take them out of the deck here. Set the box aside. Now, what I'm gonna ask you to do, Mr. Spectator, is go ahead and give the deck a little shuffle. Of course, there's no one helps here but me, so I'm gonna pretend to be the spectator here. So I'm gonna take the deck of cards and I'm gonna shuffle. Maybe one more. Alright. You think that's good? Okay. So, give the deck a couple shuffles here. Now, what I'm going to ask you to do now is pick any card. Let's say they say, I don't know, this card. Alright. So, this is the card that they chose. Remember the card. Do not forget the card. We're going to place the card on top of the deck here. We're going to the gonna get the deck a little shuffle here, just like that. Maybe a couple more. Get that card good and mixed up in there. You do not want, we do not want to know what that card is. So we're gonna make sure this deck is thoroughly mixed. Alright. Now we're gonna need the card box here. What are we gonna do? Let's attempt to put we're going to put the box the card in the box. The cards in the box. Excuse me. There. So I'm gonna close it. Hey closing these boxes, there we go. Alright, so your card's lost somewhere in the deck, and the deck is in the box, correct? Yes? Nothing fishy about it. Alright, so this is what we're going to attempt to do. We're going to get the box a little wave, a little shuffle. A little wave, shuffle, excuse me. A little wave, a little shake, not shuffle. Can't shuffle it once in there. Alright, a little more of a shake. I think that's good. And I'm going to drop the box in my lap. Oh, look, one card just... How did that happen? Well, is that your card? Yes, it is. Huh. Okay. So, this trick... Is a very easy trick. Requires no pe preparation at all. Alright. Now. What you're going to ask them to do, you can ask them to shuffle as many times as they want. It does not matter. As they're done shuffling. You can, you can do it the way I did, you can ask them to pick a card, just, so, any way for them to choose a card, you can do that, you can tell them, say stop whenever, say stop whenever, like that, it does not matter, just get them to pick a card, so I said, I said that they get this card, this card is, the Jack of Spades, now, from this point, you need to know how to force a card, I think I've made, may have made a couple of videos on how to force a card before, but it's very simple. I mean, there's many different ways. You can do a cut force, which is what I prefer. You can do a Hindu shuffle force. What I, some magicians prefer that. Or you could do, I'm not sure what this force is called, but you just you bring the card to the bottom and you shuffle up. Shuffle and then you do it again, bringing this card back to the top. The choices are endless. But I prefer a false cut shuffle that I don't know if, if it's already been used, but. I came up with it myself, I don't know if I came up with it because I saw it in the past or whatever, but I just thought of it one day, and it's a very cool cut shuffle and I'll teach it to you. Basically, remember, the card is on top. You take a little bit of the pile, and you come up, and you come down, and with this finger and your thumb, and the the crevice of your thumb, the quarter of your thumb, you're going to grab a hold of those cards, and you're just going to twist it all around, putting it back in the same order as it was. And if you do it quick enough, it looks like a shuffle. I can I'll show it to you. If you do it quick enough, it looks like a shuffle. Like that. But the card always stays on top. Now, after you've done your false cut or whatever, you're forced, any, you're forced to get the card back to the top. You're going to get your box out. And you're going to put it in the box. Now, there's a special way you put it in. You want the top card, which is their card, to be where the little half moon thing is. So, you just put it in there like that. That way their top card is closest to that. And when you when you go to put this in, you want to squeeze these two ends, just like that. And you can see how it kind of makes the cards turn, and you just put the flap behind the top card, just like that. That way it looks like cards in the box, and they are, and even this one, but this one's easy to get out. 
and all this shaking and all this waving and just a bunch of nonsense is just to get the the intimidation intimidation of you know to get people wondering what's gonna happen and as you're sh but it, it does have a, a bit of bit of a a reason why you shake the box is to lo loosen this car and, and as you're shaking you're sliding it up a little bit that way you can get ready for the reveal so as you're shaking you're shaking and you're sliding it up and then you want to turn the box to where you know that the face of the card is pointing toward the audience that way they can see their card is in your reveal and you just say you're going to drop it and as you drop it you're going to grab a hold of that card it slides right out Ooh, I had two cards my bad it slides right out and that's their card just like that that's how the trick works if you liked it please subscribe and thumbs up my video Magic Matt, thanks.